crowd. You need to do what I did. You need to repent. Change your mind. Admit you were wrong. You need to be baptized. That's basically Peter's way of saying you need to go public. You need to go public with your faith. You need to tell people you believe that Jesus is from God. He's said to be the Savior of the world. He says that when you go public about your faith in Jesus, your sins will be forgiven. And that's what you Peter's talking to a group of people who are responsible for the murder of Jesus, and he says, I believe Jesus is who he said he was. I believe that Jesus died for your sins, sins of the world. Even the sin of delivering the Son of God to the cross can be forgiven. Now, you're sitting around in your home one day, feeling guilty because you lied to someone at work, or you did something wrong, or you know what? You gave somebody the finger when they drove in front of you with their car. Not that any of you would do that. These people handed over Jesus to the Romans to be crucified. And Peter is saying, because of the resurrection, because of this event, you can be forgiven. That's my conclusion, Peter says, from gazing into an empty tomb. You can't be baptized. And that very day, over 3,000 people came to know Jesus as Savior. And Lord. We don't need any more proof, they said. We don't need to go out to the tomb. We believe that Jesus is the Christ, sent from God to save the world. Hundreds upon hundreds of Jews were baptized. And in the week that followed, thousands more began to embrace Jesus. And this message spread out of Jerusalem. And the church spread to Rome, across Europe. And we're here today, Filipino and Caucasian alike, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. That's why we're here today. We're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Because of an event that took place a couple thousand years ago. You know, if there's something in your heart that says, you know what, I, I think that's true. I, I just never heard it that way. That makes sense. What should I do? Peter's words are as true today as they were just over 2,000 years ago. Change your mind. Repent from your sins. Acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And declare, I've been wrong about who Jesus is. I believe he is sent by God to be the Savior of the world. And today I want to accept him as my personal Savior. We all have to make up our mind about who we think Jesus is. You can think he's nothing. You can think he's something. You can think he's a savior. But you have to make up your mind about who you think he is. What better way to celebrate Easter than to give you the opportunity to do the very thing that a group of people did in response to Peter's message, in response to him peering into an empty tomb. So I'm going to close by giving you exactly that opportunity. I'm going to pray. You can change the words in your head if you want to, but this prayer is a simple word of saying, God, I'm changing my mind. 